I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solder together some silver branches, the easiest and fastest way possible, which is very tricky when you have lots of separate little pieces you have to fit together. So I'll show you how. Hey. Hello! <laughs> so uh, we're gonna ball up the solder and we're gonna put it right in the seam so that it's touching both sides. Basically then when we heat it, the heat is going to just like it becomes liquid and suck it right into the seam. And when you have a setup like this, you really don't want to do the kind of thing where you're trying to like heat from underneath or whatever because it just needs to lay here beautifully on the cloth and not be, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Yes, exactly right. So it needs that's why I use the solderite board, which is beautifully flat and level, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most important thing for this. Stuff. So uh, I'm gonna ball up the solder and then start soldering it. And then, so we'll just do me and then start soldering it. Delicious little solder balls. If you heat them up very quickly, they don't really oxidize or anything, which is what you want. Okay. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of the juicy flux. Now, because we don't want to stop and pickle in between, I'm going to flux your other joints as well, even though we're not going to do them all at the same time. Because okay. then if we're lucky, they just stay clean enough and we can just, you know, work our way through the whole thing. It looks like salt. I know it's not salt. It's my salt. And then I'm just going to dry it a little bit gently because you know how solder likes to hop around that little stinker. But once it dries enough, I'm going to be heating both of these until it draws right in. But I have my tweezers ready because you know solder loves to move around and it may require poking. See what I mean? Now I'm gonna add more though because I want that seam to be more filled. One of the reasons I like to use the paste flux is it's concentrated enough. You can usually just keep going. You don't have to stop and pickle each time, which is too annoying. <laughs> And then I'll let you loose on the rest of it. See that? Excellent. That's really what you're going for, okay? And the best thing with, with work like this is to work on one seam at a time. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if you set up a couple at once, when you're looking at the one, the other little fucker does something bad. Always. And I mean, I took years trying to like, I can, I can do it. No, I can't. One, you know what I mean? Just work your way across. Okay.